The sky has always been a realm of wonder and exploration for humanity. It has produced some of the most advanced and groundbreaking aircraft ever built, including the X-1 which was the first plane to break the sound barrier. It's the most famous because it was the first to go supersonic, but the X-15, it was the most productive of our X-plane program. The X-Plane program is about pushing the boundaries of what we can do with aviation technology. We are constantly looking for new ways to make planes safer, more efficient and more environmentally friendly. The X-59 aircraft is an exciting addition to a long history of X airplanes, including the X-1 and the X-15. NASA is working with Lockheed Martin to design, build and flight test the X-59 aircraft. This can be about 97 feet long fly at a Mach number of about 1.42, which is roughly around 900 miles an hour. It's got a long nose, engine on top, highly swept wings, and a very carefully shaped fuselage to enable that low boom flight that we require for this airplane. There's really three phases on the low boom flight demonstration mission. The first one is we need to make sure that the airplane is safe to fly and to fly in the United States airspace system at about 55,000 feet. Second of all, we need to do validation flights to show that the airplane can fly in a variety of flight conditions and atmospheric conditions. And then the third phase is really this community response data where we go out and get the data and provide this data to regulatory agencies such as the FAA so that they can lift the ban on commercial supersonic flight. NASA's X-Plane program uses cutting-edge technology to test and develop new aircraft designs. This plane will be able to travel at speeds of up to Mach 1.4. The supersonic passenger jet is a major step forward for commercial aviation. It will allow people to travel faster and more efficiently than ever before, while also reducing the impact of air travel on the environment. The X-Plane program is a testament to the power of innovation and collaboration. Thanks to the X-Plane program, the sky is no longer the limit for human exploration and discovery. NASA's efforts to develop electric propulsion systems are not limited to spacecraft. The agency is also investing in the development of electric propulsion technologies for aircraft. Electric propulsion has the potential to revolutionize the aviation industry. I know, I know. Chemical rockets seem really primitive. Take tons of liquid or solid fuel, light it on fire with an oxidizer, and then use the speed of the explosive gases to give you a kick in the opposite direction. Thanks, Newton's third law. By using electric power instead of fossil fuels, we can reduce emissions and make air travel more sustainable. Electric aircraft are already being developed and tested by NASA and its partners. These planes use electric motors powered by batteries or other electrical sources rather than traditional jet engines. Electric aircraft have some significant advantages over traditional planes. They are quieter, they produce fewer emissions, and they are more efficient. As electric propulsion technology continues to improve, it could open up new possibilities for air travel. NASA's commitment to advancing the aviation industry extends beyond propulsion technologies. The agency is also exploring the use of autonomous systems in air travel. The AWU Eero exploit the synergy between Leonardo's extensive experience in rotorcraft development and systemic dynamic experience in unmanned systems. The result is a high technology advanced rotorcraft system which is designed to fulfill the whole spectrum of short range maritime and battlefield mission. NASA is working on a variety of projects related to autonomous systems in air travel. Autonomous systems have the potential to make air travel safer and more efficient. These include developing software to help aircraft navigate and avoid obstacles, as well as testing autonomous aircraft in flight. Autonomous aircraft could also open up new possibilities for air travel 